Today we will solve question number 2 of midterm for 2014. Here it is given that our f, f x y is e raised to power minus x plus y where x and y are given to be exponential random variables. We have to find f z of z where z is given to be x plus maximum of x or y. Here since x and y are given to be exponential random variables so our z limit would be greater than or equal to 0 as z is x plus maximum of x y. There will be two cases of this. Case 1, here it will be when x is less than y. When x is less than y, so maximum of x or y will be y. So our z will become x plus y since y is maximum. So now here we will find fz of z where fz of z is probability of z less than or equal to z. Where here z is x plus y which is less than or equal to z and the case is that x is less than y. Now we'll plot the graph. From the graph, we'll see that we'll first draw that x is equal to y line, which is this line, x equal to y. Then we'll plot x plus y equal to z line here. Now we have to take out which region, the limits of the integration. Now, we want x is less than y. So x less than y, the region is this. And then we want x plus y should be less than or equal to z. So the region is this. So our, our intersection region is this one. From this region, we will take the limits. The limit of y would be, see, y equal to x. So the limit is of y is y equal to x to y equal to z minus x. And the point of intersection here is z by 2, z by 2. Since x equal to y and x plus y equal to z, the intersection point is z by 2 or z by 2. We will now put the integration limits here. We will do x limits is x goes from 0 to z by 2. x goes from 0 to z by 2. So 0 to z by 2. y goes from x to z minus x. So y goes from x to z minus x. We have fxy, xy, dy, dx. Using Leibniz rule, we will find out probability density function which is fz of z which it goes to from 0 to z by 2, then we have fxy, we put x into z minus x into y as we use Leibniz rule here, dx. We will integrate here, 0 to z by 2, we will put fxy function, fxy function is given to be this, e raised to power minus x plus y. So we will put e raised to power minus x plus in y space we will put z minus x and then dx. We will integrate it and we will get z by 2 e raised to power minus z by 2. Now our second case is when x is greater than or equal to y. When x is greater than or equal to y, maximum of x or y would be x. So our z would be x plus maximum of x or y which is x again. So our z would be 2x. Again here we will put this fz of z which is probability of z less than or equal to z. z here is 2x. Now probability of 2x less than or equal to z where the case is x is greater than or equal to y. Now we will plot the graph again. In the graph we have x equal to y line and we have x equal to z by 2 line. As we will see from here probability of 2x is less than or equal to z. So x is less than or equal to z by 2 and where x is greater than or equal to y. So from this graph now we want the region that x is greater than or equal to y which is the region where x is greater than or equal to y. We want x to be less than or equal to z by 2. So it will be this region. So our region of intersection is this triangle. Now we find the limits here. Our x goes from y to z by 2 and our y goes from 0 to z by 2. This. So we put the limits here. y goes from 0 to z by 2 and our x goes from y to z by 2. We have fxy, xy, dx, dy. Again we use the Leibniz rule. From the Leibniz rule we get that fz of z is 0 to z by 2. We differentiate this limit z by 2 so we get half. Half of fxy we put z by 2 in place of x. Then we divide dy. We do our integration half 0 to z by 2 which is our y limits. Then e raised to power fxy was e raised to power minus x plus y. So it's e raised to power minus z by 2 plus y dy. Again we integrate it and we get d 
the answer to be after integration, which is half e raised to power minus c by 2 to minus minus half e raised to power minus c. So our total fz of z would be the sum of this fz of z, which is called case 1. So we for total is fz of z, we sum the fz of z which we got from case 1 and case 2. That is when x is less than y and x is greater than y. So our total fz of z is z by 2 a raised to power minus z plus half e raised to power minus z by 2 minus half e raised to power minus z where our z is greater than or equal to 0. Now if you want to check if it's correct, we'll just integrate it and the area under integration should be 1. So we'll just integrate from 0 to infinity fz of z and that should be 1. If we integrate this, we'll actually get 1 half and minus half. So total we will left with only 1. So after checking also we get that its area is 1 as from 0 to infinity fz of z is 1 dz. So 0 to infinity fz of z dz should be equal to 1. Hence our fz of z is z by 2 e raised to a minus z plus half e raised to a minus z by 2 minus half e raised to a minus z where z is greater than or equal to 0. So in this question we actually find out the val value of fz of z which was this.